Good afternoon, my name is uh, Dr. Tyler Bradley Holzer and uh, I'm new to the practice here at Provo Dental Care and also Spanish Fork Dental Care. Um, I practice four days a week down in Spanish Fork and one day a week here in Provo. Um, a little bit about myself, I went to dental school at the University of Oklahoma. Um, my wife and I are from, originally from Heber City and uh, so we're glad to be back in Utah. I've been practicing for the last a couple of years in Texas. Um, so we're super excited to be back here in Utah, be back uh, close to family. Um, I really enjoy being a dentist and uh, kind of the reason why I chose dentistry is um, when I was younger I had some dental problems um, and was able to go to a great dentist who really helped fix my smile and, and help boost my, my self-esteem and, and so uh, that's kind of what led me to go into dentistry to be able to help others in that same way. So today I just wanted to talk just real briefly um, about root canals. Uh, root canals are something that we get a lot of questions about, especially when a, tooth, a patient comes in and they have a tooth that's maybe not really hurting them. Um, and so I get the question all the time, um, so, so doc, why do I have to have a root canal on that tooth? It's not hurting. Um, and I've got a little model here that I want to show to help explain that. So <clears throat> here on this tooth, we can see this black area represents decay or a cavity. Um, and then this, this red area, we see all of the uh, nerve innervation and blood supply to that tooth. And we can see the decay is not quite down to the nerve. And then in this example, we can see the cavity has actually gone completely into the nerve. And uh, it's illustrated here that the nerve and the blood supply has been infected and there's an, actually an abscess around that tooth. So in this kind of this little uh, model, this would be a tooth that would, a patient would come in with symptoms and in pain. <clears throat> and so that's an, a tooth that obviously needs a root canal. Uh, because it is abscessed and, and it's, it's in causing pain. This one, however, because there is a cavity, um, a lot of times the bacteria that create this cavity will penetrate the tooth deeper than what we can see on an x-ray or even um, when we get in and clean the decay out. Sometimes um, the decay won't actually be into the nerve, um, but the bacteria have already penetrated the tooth structure enough that they've uh, infected the nerve and it's the, the nerve tissue has been infected but it has not caused an abscess yet. And so this is a tooth where uh, the cavity is very deep but it hasn't, hasn't abscessed yet. And so there's no pain involved uh, but the, the tooth is infected and would need a root canal. Um, and so when we do a root canal procedure, um, the whole goal is to open up the tooth, um, remove the bacteria and the infected tissue um, and sterilize and disinfect the tooth and then seal it up. Um, in order to eliminate the cause of the infection, which is the bacteria.